When working with data, you might want to run formulas on the same range of cells repeatedly, instead of referencing them in the traditional way, for example E1 to E5. We can name them so they're easier to remember. Let's see how this works. This is an example worksheet of family incomes and credit scores. Say this is a government worksheet, and they want to calculate the total of these incomes. They also might want to use the max or min function to find out the difference between the highest and lowest earning people. Every time we reference this range, if we did it the traditional way, we'd need to reference B2 to B16. So let's find a simpler way. We'll select cells B2 to B16, and name this range that contains the family income data. Next, go to the data menu and select Named Ranges. By default, the name of this range is Named Range 1. You can rename it to a more logical name, say Family Income. When you're happy with the name, select Done. Now let's run some basic formulas on this range. If we want to calculate the total, we can use the sum function, equals sum, and for the parameters we're going to write Family Income. When we hit enter, we can see that it's summed the range B2 to B16, but instead we use the named ranges notation. We can double check that the calculation is correct by highlighting B2 to B16, and we can see in the bottom right hand corner that the sum matches the total that we have in cell B18. Let's run the average formula on this range as well. And there we have it, the average has been calculated. Whenever you want to view your named ranges, you can just go to Data, Named Ranges, and your list of named ranges will appear here. Hover over one of them, and you can click Edit. Here you can adjust the range, and you can also adjust the name. And as before, when you're happy, click Done. If you're looking to delete a range, you can again click on the Edit button, and click on the bin icon next to the name. You'll get a warning sign like this, and click Remove. And that's it for named ranges. It takes just a few clicks to create a named range, and it saves a lot of time.